Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balogu and here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for December 12, 2019. The Senate has waded into the controversy surrounding the invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja by operatives of the Department of State Services, saying it will investigate the matter. This comes one week after the DSS operatives stormed the court in a bid to rearrest the convener of the hashtag Revolution Now protest, Mr. Omoye Lishore, barely 24 hours after he was released. The situation sparked outrage among Nigerians who called on the government to look into what was described as a disregard for the rule of law. Police officers have dispersed protesting members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria in Abuja. The IMN members took to the streets of Buse Burger Agis of Abuja to commemorate the death of their member during the incident in Zaria between the chief of army and staff. But the exercise was disrupted by the police officers and the demonstrators retaliated in anger and pelted the policemen with stones even as people scampered for safety. A high court in Yola, Ademawa State, has sentenced two INEC officials to 21 years in prison for sharing 362 million naira collected from former Minister of Petroleum Tizani Alison Madweke during the 2015 general elections in Ademawa State. The trial judge, Justice Nathan Musa, convicted the two officials after they were found guilty of the three count charge. On the international scene, voters are heading to the polls in the UK for the country's third general election in less than five years. Poland stations in 650 constituencies across England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland opened at 7 a.m. and are built to close at 10 p.m. Counting will begin straight away and most results are due to be announced in the early hours of Friday morning. And in sports, FC Barcelona president Josep Maria Bartomeu said on Thursday that the El Clasico against Real Madrid next week will not be postponed again with the new fears of unrest around the fixture. Spain's most prestigious match was originally scheduled for October the 26th, but had to be postponed to December the 18th, following a wave of pro-independence demonstrations in the city. And that's the evening news recap. Don't forget to join us later for fresh updates. I am Ayo Sunday Malu. Many thanks for watching.